For critical care nurses, stress is part of the job, but this past year truly tested their resilience. Without family visiting, oftentimes we were the last person holding someone's hand when they passed away, and that was... Um, it's hard to describe. Jessica Curtizzi felt a duty to push through and care for her patients, but she knew it was taking a toll on her health. I'd have anxiety about my shift, about what I would see the next time I went to work. Luckily, Jessica did ask for help and took advantage of the Employee Assistance Program at the Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center, designed to help clinicians cope and prevent burnout. They cannot pour from an empty cup. Bernadette Melnick, Ohio State's Chief Wellness Officer and Dean of the College of Nursing, led a new study that found that even before the pandemic began, about two in five critical care nurses nationwide reported depressive symptoms, while more than half experienced anxiety and over 60% rated their physical health a five or lower on a scale of one to 10. And those poor health scores directly correlated with an increase in self-reported medical errors. These errors are made by very dedicated caring, committed people who are experiencing their own symptoms of depression or poor physical health. That's why it's crucial that hospitals offer support such as counseling, mindfulness coaching, and pet therapy to help nurses take care of themselves and also provide optimal care to patients. When the dogs come up, it's nice to see them let down their guard and kind of let out that emotion because uh, that's what's needed. I want to be in health care for the rest of my career. So to me, I think it's worth it to invest in my mental wellness 